you. So I'm uh, Konstantin, I'm a CTO of uh, Oral Tech. Uh, this is our right uh, s smallish poster. And uh, this is our uh, little stand. So what, what is, is this one of your products? Yes. So, so what is this? So this is uh, uh, an uh, antenna printed on a paper. On paper? Yes, this is a regular paper. Just you don't use the plastics? No, uh, so we can, can actually take it out. And this is paper. So in the future, the electronics will be on paper? Not necessarily. This is just to showcase the uh, versatility of our technology. And it looks good on black paper as well. So does it work? This is a conductive ink that we developed. It's uh, not nanoparticle based. It's what? It's, it's not a nanoparticle based thing. Usually uh, on the market right now, you'll find most things are based on nanoparticles, which cause some problems. This is uh, our ink looks like this. It looks like uh, a vodka. Well, oh, yeah, but it, like water. It, it smells differently though. So, so what is this? And uh, this is a, a solution of uh, metal uh, cations. Silver ink. Yes. Is in, it's not nano silver. It's not nano silver. It's uh, ionic silver. Ionic. Yes. What does that mean? It's silver ions. Really? Uh, so it's, so it's uh, is a, a liquid silver. It's well. It's no? uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. You, you dissolve them. It uh, you dissolve it in solvents and it becomes yeah. liquid. So we can print uh, high conductivity uh, circuits like those ones, and we can also print uh, transparent conductors like those ones. What is this? So this is a metal uh, layer. It's a silver layer, but it is uh, since it's very thin, it's completely transparent. So. And what does that mean? You can have transparent electronics? Or well, what, what, you, what, kind of, what part of the so system are you? You have uh, one of these? Yeah. Yeah, so the screen has to be both transparent and conductive, right? Yeah. So this is exactly the application for this thing. So uh, it's for a plastic based touch or? For example, yes. Yeah. So or for touch screens, for solar cells, for OLEDs, uh, this is uh, inkjet printable. Uh, this is much cheaper than uh, uh, what uh, industry uses right now. Really? Yes, it's about uh, one order of magnitude cheaper, about 10 times cheaper. So you enable um, 10 times cheaper um, touchscreens? Yeah, for example. Well, it's a part of a touchscreen, right? But yeah. uh, it's a significant part of a touchscreen. Can we go to your poster over there? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, let's go behind. Uh, what, what do you show here? Are those the different things you can do? So, yeah. We developed a single technology that can be applied to many different fields. So right now we're focusing on the printed organic electronics. This is what you saw on, on the stand. But it also can be applied to other uh, areas and other fields, uh, including uh, smart textiles, including uh, conductive composites and printed circuits, including uh, 3D antennas, for example, and uh, so on. Uh, organic electronics, that's yeah. what it means? Yeah, or, oral thing, yeah. it comes from organic and electronics. you have a team here? Yes, it's uh, myself and my CEO, Natalia. Hi. So who are you? What? Who, uh, who are you? I'm Natalia. I'm a CEO for Oral Tech. Uh, I from, came from chemistry to start up, make material. Did you see like a, an opportunity right here to do something big in, the, in this this market is going to be huge, right? Um, sure. We yeah? expect uh, from this market to grow uh, since there are many interesting technologies that are going to enter market um, as soon as possible, we expect them. There. And is this a revolutionary invention or some other companies working in this field or you have a exclusive? Uh, generally, the, uh, uh, the, mati the, the product is something that everybody work on it because you need transparent electrode and you need metal flexible electrode yeah. and flexible electrode for many devices that are emerging technologies on this market. Uh, our unique technology is how to make it in such a quality and in such parameters and, and that is going and cost. So is it outside the lab? 
Are you in mass production? Right Not now yet. we are scaling up. We are in the process of uh, scale up. And to build a pilot And uh, we're building a pilot production line for the inks and uh, for the transparent conductors. As well. So uh, this one here yeah. uh, is not easy to make? Uh, uh, the, the idea in material science that you have a combination <laughs> of material and specific technological issues and only the combination of these parts can give you the product of the quality that um, uh, industry looking for. So, so the synthesis of the ink is scalable. It's quite easily scalable, I have to say, but it's protected by our patent, so not everyone can make it uh, because of that, for example. <laughs> hey guys. And, um, uh, so, so what's next? Uh, how how hard is it to do this scalable thing? There is a big step to get it's it into a, a machine that can us. make it big. Uh, it's a big step for us. It's required from us a uh, um, work, uh, hard work, and investment of time and money. And we hope that in the uh, in the end of this specific stage, we will get. Uh, in products that we can go to market product so um, uh, you're gonna maybe talk with some potential partners here Absolutely. We're going to it's one of the here. reasons to come here for yes, us yes with uh, people from industry who are producers and who are uh, customers there's some big com cust uh, big companies yeah. maybe yes. they're like interested to say hey what can we do we and then you would be very glad if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> because it's going to be their question. And this is a uh, um, unique. Yes. The, the process is unique yes. to exactly. our company. It's a patented process that uh, we were Natalia invented. A few uh, years how ago. about um, uh, you were showing here on paper? Yep. Yes. Is this something that nobody else can do? Yes. Or? Uh, this it is hard to do. To print a silver conducting. Uh, on paper is something that is very complicated. Yes. Why? Why is it so complicated? Uh, because you need paper is a sensitive material from the point of view of temperature. And if, if you want to work with such materials that are sensitive to environment or temperature, you need very mild, very unique technology, uh, not harmful to those materials. And this is what we made in Oral Tech. We made technology that is suitable for many different types of materials, even if they're sensitive to temperature, humidity, or other things. And, uh, what were you doing before you got to this idea? And how did you get to it? Uh, we, both of us, we used to be, a, a, we made a, our PhD in Weizmann Institute of Science in, in Israel. In what, sorry? Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel. Yeah. Uh, me and Konstantin, we made our PhD there. And after finishing our PhD, we started this And uh, so you... Um, the, the background is in just chemistry, in chemistry or and materials. Of materials, yeah. yes. materials. Yes. And, and uh, nanomaterials. Yeah. Uh, so this show is perfect, right? The ID Tech X print electronics. We, we are here for the second time. We were here yeah. one yes. year or two years ago. One year ago. Uh, here? Yes. I don't remember. Did well, you we have were demos? here one year ago, and uh, after that we no, it was two years ago. I'm sorry. We were here two years ago. It was before Edmonton. And uh, after that, we moved to Berlin. We moved our company to, to Germany. Yes. Just because of the show? Oh, no. I'm joking. No. But Not I mean, the show, the show is in Berlin. But we saw a lot of interest, and we uh, got a lot of traction from the show. So we, uh, we saw that uh, the environment uh, in Germany yeah. and the industry in Germany is uh, more favorable to uh, our company. The specific our uh, yeah. field of technology. Yes. Is, is Berlin a little bit like the Silicon Valley of Europe or what? Uh, we still don't know. <laughs> Something is happening here, right? Valley is yes. quite flat. Yeah. Yes. And it's a good place to it's do this It's a good place work? to settle for the startups yeah. and the startup with the materials and the chemistry, physics. Electronics, it's a good place. So, how far is this from uh, huge? Like, uh, how far could, how long time does it take to make we something like this? A couple of years. A couple of years, it will be where? Like, we in hope everything? It's a mass product produced. Have you seen the, uh, the Samsung phone? Uh, yeah. phone? So, imagine you come to a restaurant and you have a menu, yeah. which is just a piece of paper, but it's also a screen. 
It's a screen. So yeah, you can touch and you can touch order. any uh, any uh, thing. You can see the ingredients. You can see the dietary restrictions. You can see the picture. So is this it expensive is to make a flexible uh, tablet like this? Right now, it's very expensive. But this how, is why how we don't cheap have can it. you make it? Much cheaper. Uh, like uh, a little bit more expensive than a high quality menu print. Uh, no, because this is a time when different technologies that are needed to produce a cheap menus are emerging to the market, and we are one of such technologies that helping to such products to be more available uh, to the mass production and to the mass customer. Cool. All right. Thanks a okay. lot. Thank you. Thank you.